Hi everybody, welcome to Hope School! <laughs> Reading time! It's October and it's the end of the, at the end of the month, it's Halloween. Ooh, are you excited? So we have a Halloween book. Yeah, this one's a really fun book and I really like it. So, I hope you do too. Let's read the story together. This book is called Arthur's Halloween and it is written by Mark Brown. He's Superman for Halloween, right? That's right. But how does he feel? He feels a little scared, so he's not feeling so super right now. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, decorations. And she's making the costume. And they have candy. Let's start. It was the night before Halloween. Arthur's family was busy. That means they were doing so many things. They're busy. Making the house look spooky. Ooh, or scary, right? Spooky, scary. Boo! It looked so spooky, in fact, that Arthur had trouble falling asleep. I'm scared. I'm scared. He has trouble falling asleep. Ah. Ah! Who's that? Things were even worse. So bad than worse. Even worse the next morning. Help! Screamed Arthur when he opened his eyes. It's just me said his little sister D.W. Boy, you are jumpy. Don't forget, you have to take me trick-or-treating tonight. All right, so he's jumpy. Maybe just one little thing. Ah, and then he's, ah, he jumps. He's jumpy. And trick-or-treating. Bing dong, ding dong, trick-or-treat. We will see that later in the book. <laughs> There's her mask. Oh, now we can see her face. Uh, he looks so worried. Here's their mom drinking some coffee or tea. Arthur asks, Do I really have to? As he ate his cereal. You really do, said his mother. And I want to go to every house, said D.W. Arthur groaned. I'll be the only one who has to drag his baby sister along. He doesn't want to go and make his sister go trick-or-treating. He wants to go by himself. So he's groaning. Can you groan? Yeah, that's kind of groaning, right? Arthur did not recognize anyone at school. There was a giant robot in his classroom <laughs> taking attendance. Arthur, okay, Arthur, you're here. That's attendance. Oh, are you here? I'm here. Here, attendance. And recognize. Recognize means to see and to know the person. Oh, I know that person. I recognize them. because Maybe you can recognize me because of my hair. If I cut off my hair, maybe you would not recognize me right away. <laughs> you sound just like my teacher. Mr. Marco, said Arthur. I am your teacher, said the robot. The only one Arthur recognized, the only person, only one he recognized was the brain. He was wrapped. Wrapped in aluminum foil. I'm a baked potato, said the brain. Ooh. So aluminum foil, that's the shiny. Sometimes you buy kimbap and it's wrapped in aluminum foil. It's shiny, just like a baked potato. Sometimes you wrap them and so you can hold it or cook it. All right. 
Francine passed out. Special morning snacks. Eat these, she said. They are bat wing brownies and vampire blood. Ugh. Vampire blood, you know, inside of you there's blood and vampires drink it. Ooh. Everyone ate them but Arthur. Everyone but him. He did not. Ugh. I'm feeling sick. Batwing brownies? Not a good idea. <laughs> then they all put on blindfolds. So if you're blind, that means you cannot see, and a blindfold is just the, the cloth, cloth that can go around your eyes, blindfold. Buster passed around bowls. He said they were filled with human eyeballs and hearts doo -doo, doo -doo, and brains. So which one do you think is the eyeball? Do you think it's the this one or this one? Uh, maybe this one because it's kind of a circular. Yeah, it's probably the eyeball. Arthur turned pale or white. When it was his turn, he wouldn't even touch them. Ooh, it's too gross, too gross. No, no, no. What a scaredy cat. He's a scaredy cat. Like sometimes cats are scared, so he's like that, a scaredy cat, said Francine. Chicken, said Muffy. And also chicken can mean a scared person too because chickens get scared easily. They're only peeled grapes. So this is, these are peeled grapes, jello and cold spaghetti. So imagine closing your eyes and you're like, ooh, cold, what is this? Oh, it's cold spaghetti. <laughs> when it came time, finally, right? When it came time to go trick or treating, Buster knew which houses to skip. Not that house, it's bad. Skip it, skip. Don't go there, he said. They only give apples. Gross, said Francine. Oh, they want candy. They don't want apples, so don't go to that house. And don't go to the big house on the corner. No, 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 said Buster. That is the witch's house. <laughs> witch's house. My brother saw someone go in there last Halloween, and he never came out. So. Last Halloween, the one before this one, someone went in the house and they never came back. What happened? I don't know. Arthur tried not to look afraid. I, I can do it. I'm, I'm not afraid. Maybe he was thinking that. Over there, that's Arthur. And here's his friend and his little sister. Arthur and his sister had trouble or a problem, it was hard for them, had trouble keeping up. So here's his friends and they're walking, but because he has a little sister, he could not keep up. They went too fast with the others. First, DW, his sister, got her tail caught. Then her bag broke. You can see the bag is broken here and the candy's on the ground. So Arthur said this to his sister because of all of these things. You're such a pain in the neck. Oh, my, my neck hurts. <laughs> you are making my neck hurt. You are a pain in my neck, said Arthur. DW must be short for dimwit. All right, dimwit just means a person that's not smart. Yeah, so he's calling his sister not very smart. But DW did not answer. Arthur turned around just in time to see her disappear into the witch's house. So, oh, he saw her then, oh, she's gone. Disappeared, she disappeared. <gasps> What's gonna happen in the house? I don't know. It's a scary house, right? There's broken windows and 
That's a little scary, right? What is he gonna do? <gasps> He's going in. Arthur's hands turned ice cold, like ice. And his heart, his heart began to race. <gasps> he walked up to the spooky old house. The front door was open just a crack. Slowly, Arthur went inside. Look, said Buster, Arthur just went into the witch's house. Uh, she'll probably, probably, I think so, probably put Arthur and DW into her oven. Psh, ah, hot, it's hot into her oven, just like Hansel and Gretel, said Sue Ellen. Maybe she's using them for weird scientific experiments. She's trying different things, experimenting. Whoa, what would this do? <laughs> said the brain. I bet she's locked them, locked them in the cellar. Oh, lost my place. To starve. Starving means they have no food, said Buster. Maybe we should follow him, said Francine. Maybe we should call the police. Ring, ring, please, please, help, help, said Muffy. Everyone was too scared to move. So the friends, they were thinking, oh, maybe something bad's happening. They're so scared. They did not do anything. <gasps> Here he is. Inside the house, it was very cold. Arthur thought he saw ghosts all around him. He walked down the long, dark hall. At the end, he saw a light under the door. He heard voices. One was his sister. Oh, that's my sister. I hear her voice. <gasps> what is she doing? Why are there so many cats? Oh, there you are, said the witch. <gasps> the witch is talking to him now. Oh, there you are, said the witch. We were waiting for you. I came to get my sister. We have to go. I hear my mother calling us. Yeah, my mom, she's calling us. We have to go, said Arthur. I don't hear anything, said DW. My name is Miss Tibble. I hope you won't leave. Don't go. I hope you won't leave. Without some cider, apple cider. It's very delicious juice, apple cider. And donuts first. Don't go. Please eat some food. They're chocolate, your favorite, said DW. Oh, she's having a good time. He's scared. I've waited all night for trick-or-treaters, but you're the only ones, said Mrs. Tibble. Years ago, many years ago, our doorbell, ding dong, ding dong, never stopped. It never stopped ringing, ring, ring, ring. But something changed, right? Maybe it's broken. My, maybe it's not working now. Like my window, said DW. Like the windows, said DW. Miss Tibble nodded. Mm, I think so. It is harder for me to keep up. Maybe there's lots of things to clean. She cannot do it all, so it's hard to, to keep up with this big place these days. Maybe if we help you fix your yard, the place won't look so spooky, said Arthur. Oh, now he's... He's saying, I can help you to make it not look spooky. Arthur finished his donut and Mrs. Tibble opened the door and turned on the porch light. She gave Arthur and DW a big hug. See you Saturday to rake the leaves, said Arthur. Look, now Arthur's not, not afraid. 
You're still alive? said Francine. I can't believe you went in there alone, said the brain. You are so brave, or he's like not afraid, brave, said Sue Ellen. What's in the big bag? asked Buster. Probably eyeballs, hearts, and brains, said Francine. Arthur said this, it's easy to find out. Just close your eyes and reach in, unless you're too scared. So now Arthur is the one that's not afraid and all of his friends are a little bit afraid. He's, now he's brave, but now they're, they're a little afraid. All right, so now his sister says this, we've been to every house now. Can we take a shortcut or an easy way, a shortcut? Through the cemetery, asked D.W. The cemetery on Halloween? Are you guys crazy? Whoa, are you crazy? Asked Francine. Follow me, said Arthur as he marched ahead. The cemetery is a great place. People are just dying to get in. All right, that's a silly joke and it's kind of hard. You can ask your teacher, why is this a joke? The cemetery is a great place. People are just dying to get in. Yeah, you can ask your teacher about that one. Otherwise, I have three questions for you. Number one, how did Arthur's house look after they finished decorating? So they put up lots of skeletons and witches things like that. How did it look after they finished decorating for Halloween? And number two, what did Arthur have to do, have to do? What did he have to do that he didn't want to do? Oh, I have to do that? I don't want to. And the last question, number three, who is Miss Tibble? All right, thank you so much. I hope that these questions are easy. If you need help, ask your teacher, okay? All right, bye-bye, see you next time.